Hi, today we are putting the spotlight on the AI Observability app, the app for end-to-end -end observability for your generative AI, Agentic and LLM services. I'm here on the hub. After you've installed it, you can just open the app or you can also just follow my steps here. I'm on the playground. We have it installed on the playground. The link to the playground is in the description of the video. So what is the app all about? The app really analyzes all of your interactions from your services to the LLMs to your agentic workflows. We are analyzing all of your open telemetry data that has been enriched with open telemetry. And then you can run all of your different analytics, understanding your different model providers, how you use them, how your agents are doing, which services are using and interacting with LLMs. You can analyze your token usage, your cost estimates, and we also give you ready-made dashboards to analyze how you're interacting with the different service offerings from the different providers, whether it's Amazon Bedrock, OpenAI, or any one of the others that is listed here. Also some additional use cases like a prompt audit trailing, and also comparing different versions of models because you want to compare what's better in performance, what's better in costs, what's better in accuracy. Now, before we dive into the analytics features, just a quick word on how you get data in. On the top right, you see the plus connection button. Click here, you get to the wizard to get started with your observability using Open Telemetry. That's the Open Telemetry based auto instrumentation SDK for LLMs and Agentic AI. The wizard here is super simple. You just follow through the steps, generate a token. Then we explain to you how you install the SDK and how you in, uh, enable your application service to be observable with that and then how the data gets sent back to the Dynatrace backend. Um, some of the permission settings and then the next thing is data validation. So once you have instrumented your app and you launched it, you deployed it, it will show up here. Now I'm here on the playground. That means we already have a couple of apps instrumented, which is great. So that's why I'm closing this out. So what type of information do we get? Let's start with agents. That's obviously a big topic these days. I click here. Basically what you see, it switched over to the service health view where I can now switch between all of the different tabs that gives me key indicators. How many services, how many models are used. We're using 20 more models in two services. We have three agents we get overview of uh, performance and we can scroll down and get to see more information. Traffic, latency, so that's all performance relevant. There's also cost, a lot of cost metrics across uh, the different models that you use. Savings through caching, uh, guardrail information. So you can see all of this here. Now, if I scroll up again, all the way up, uh, you could tap between the individual views here because we make sure that it's easy to access the relevant metrics when you, for instance, do cost optimization or when you try to understand uh, guardrail execution. Uh, if I go back to all, um, on the left side, like with many Dynatrace apps, you can filter, you can say only show me data, for instance, that comes in from Azure uh, and Langchain, click on update, and then you get to see all, everything filtered based on these providers. And this obviously works across providers, models, and also your services and agents. Now, what else is interesting here? Um, you may want to get alerted in case your token usage um, goes too crazy. So you can see here in the token usage, we have the new alert button. Click on it, it directly gets you to the Davis Anomaly Detector. You can then obviously select how you want to get alerted, what type of uh, condition you have. If it's static, you can just suggest the value. And then um, just finish with the details on how you want to get alerted, right? Super simple, one click, setting up the alert. Now, what else do we have? Uh, we have the Explorer view. You can see here on the top, that was uh, recently added to the app. This is where you get to see an overview of all of your services that are integrating with your different models and agents, right? It seems I have the AI travel advisor and I have another travel advisor demo. You get to see uh, which models are used, how many requests are coming in. Now, if I click on the AI Travel Advisor demo, I immediately get to see an overview of how many prompts are coming in, what's the performance over time. I'm looking at the last 30 minutes here. You can click to logs, problems, vulnerabilities, and properties, so you get everything that you need if you're the service owner. Now, for agentic systems, right, I guess the most interesting thing is obviously uh, the prompts. So you get here an overview of the latest prompts, the prompt input and the prompt output. And with a single click, view trace, you also get to the trace. 
Now, this is really cool and um, really powerful because now we get to see these end-to-end -end agentic uh, traces, right? It starts here with a Glangraph workflow in the AI Travel Advisor demo app. Uh, there's a supervisor that is then interacting with different agents, uh, doing an open AI chat. Then it involves the FAQ agent. It executes different tools. So this is really what's happening in an agentic workflow. They are taking a prompt and they're trying to figure out what do I need to do? And then they're executing different tasks involving one or multiple different agents. Now, as I said, we're using uh, open telemetry here. That means we're getting a lot of additional metadata about uh, the prompts, the guardrails, the costs, everything is captured on these traces. And then the AI observability app really gives you that nice overview I showed you earlier. Now, the last thing I want to show you here, because I think it's really neat, uh, we also get to see here a couple of exceptions. So in the trace, we can also see that there were some trace exceptions. Um, we get to see all the details about every single exception, including the full stack trace. Now, why is that important? Your engineers that are implementing these agentic tasks, these workflows, they want to know in case they made a mistake, in case something fails, everything is in the trace. All right, good. Let's go back to the AI observability app. Uh, let's go back to the, uh, to the overview. Um, we mentioned that we have different ways to analyze the data now, just for completeness. All of these uh, links here on the top, let's click for instance on LLM tokens. They bring you back to the service health overview. They just jump directly to a specific um, tab here for that particular use case. For instance, cost analytics. You get to see the costs, you can filter, you can set up alerts. Just what I showed you earlier. Let's go back again. Uh, Ready-made dashboards. Let's have a look at one of those. Let's pick uh, OpenAI, for instance. OpenAI is one of these ready-made dashboards that we have. They are pretty much look all very similar. Uh, but every provider has their own uh, specialities, special metrics, special data points. So we put them on here so you can see total number of requests, duration. We also do some forecasting. So based on your current load, um, how is your token forecast going to be? And you can obviously scroll down and get more details. Prompt caching, service quality, cost analytics. Um, how, to, how to start debugging your prompts, right? Just as I mentioned earlier, if you have prompts, we immediately show you what are the top prompts in your app. And then with a single click, uh, you can then just uh, jump in into the traces, right? Let's do this here. Here we go, few trace in uh, the time range. And then we get to see uh, this particular use case here, it seems the application was triggering uh, a long chain workflow that was then trying to get additional recommendations for that particular input um, that was made to travel to Berlin, it seems. Right? Now, last time back to the app, what else do we have? Uh, we have the uh, prompt audit trail, uh, so check it out, and also the model versioning and comparison. This is where you can pick different models from different providers and compare them side by side. Because this is what many organizations do. You are using different models, different versions. You're trying to figure out which ones are more efficient from a cost perspective, from a performance perspective, from a token perspective, and also from accuracy. So you typically play around, maybe do some A-B testing, and we give you all the details side by side so that you can make a better informed decision. All right? So. Uh, this was a quick spotlight into the AI observability app. So it's super easy to get data in. Just uh, instrument your app and start collecting your open telemetry traces that are enriched with AI and agentic information thanks to open telemetry. And then you have all of your analytic option, right? Um, those links, let me do this one more, cost estimate. They just get you to the detailed screen. You can filter, run your analytics, and then start optimizing. And in the end, make sure the latest feature that we've added here, your AI services. So these are all of your services that are interacting with your LLMs, with your agentic AI. You get a direct access to all of the latest prompts. And with a single click, you always get to those traces because this is really what shows you what is really happening, trying or helping you to understand how the, how the AI workflows really work, what they do, where they are fast, where they're slow, where they're hallucinating, uh, where they're failing, all right? 
So AI observability, this is the app spotlight for today. Uh, all the best with building uh, AI and LLMs into your services. And uh, we're here to help you analyze what's really going on underneath the hood because we want to make sure that software runs perfectly. And that also goes for AI, your AIs, your LLMs, and your agentic workflows. See you next time.